Sam's in the poly tunnel. He's just checking for eggs. Um, so he comes in in the morning. We do have some, which is exciting. Now you're going to open it up for us. Great. And this is where they are located. This actually fell in overnight somehow, but there are some eggs on the um, cardboard that I've seen. What's in here, Sam? Mm, it is the, we put in uh, chicken droppings and also part of the, the other if a from yeah, to have a, good, a, a smell for oh, from the, the abattoir. Yeah. yeah. And then these are the eggs. Okay. So we have a few clutches. Yeah. Good. So what do you do now? Are you going to go and measure them? So here Sam's just removing the eggs. He's weighed this cardboard, this uh, sorry, this bit of paper, and he's teared it on the scales. Now it's just a question of collecting the eggs, seeing what we've got. Now Sam, I want to know how many grams you estimate once you've collected. This one's yeah. I estimate to have uh, close to one gram. Close to a gram. Zero point eight there. Zero point eight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if you've got your eye in. <laughs> After a while, you get used, eh? Yeah. Okay. Because when there are many, it means they will. You can even see the the depending on the branches that you be on the mm. this card. What's the most you've collected in one, in one go? Mm, there's a time I collected 11 grams. 11 grams, wow. Yeah, there were very really many. You'd find these ones, they are full. I, 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 the, the, then, you used to use two of this kind. Mm. And you'd find all of them are full. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one has some, some, some of them. Some eggs on the... On the, mm. oh yeah. But when we remove, tend to remove it in here, they will all <coughs> be spoiled. So we just yeah. take it and we put on the subjects like this. Okay. Uh, no wonder it is a very small, it is minimal when we wear Yeah, it. yeah, it's not very much, but yeah. we obviously will take the opportunity. You have some on your knife as well. On this. Yeah, <coughs> I will have to remove it. Not very good. We've got some uh, new scales when I came over. So, not too expensive, but you need little scales to, to measure eggs because they're very small. So these are, um, you see they're 200 grams up to, but it's accurate to 0 0.01, which is very accurate. We don't need that level. We need point grams, you know, so like 0 0.1 grams really, but it's very useful as well. Um, and then there was some on that cardboard as well, which obviously got a bit damaged because it got that end got wet. But the eggs actually in there look dry, so I think it's just affected the outside of the cardboard, which is not too bad. So a slightly different way of using cardboard of collecting the eggs, just taking them off one by one. You can actually just weigh the strip and then count but when it's when it's empty, and then take off the the weight. Um, but we find that um, sometimes the cardboard can get a bit humid and damp because it's in this poly tunnel, which is, I mean, at the moment it's all pretty wet in there, which is good. Uh, but then that moisture goes into the cardboard, starts to increase the weight, so you're never quite as sure of the accuracy. 0 0.8 was Sam's prediction. 0. <laughs> oh, look at that. So he's got the eye now, 0 0.76. Very accurate. And well done, Sam. <laughs> That's good. So that's what 0 0.76 grams mm, that of eggs we, look like. We, have, we haven't removed the... Oh, the what was the paper? The paper was 0 0.29, so it's around the 0 oh, so 0.5. So 0 0.5, okay. So maybe you're still getting your eye. <laughs> yeah, of course, I, I thought we would get more from the other card, but uh -huh. there are a few. 
So it's less than 0 0.5 grams of eggs? Yes. Okay. Uh, Sam's about to go and put these in the polytunnel. So these are seven days old. So they've been, the, the oldest ones have been here for seven days and the newest ones are about a day. You can see some of them moving around. Um, some of them are dormant because they turn into pupa because they're not moving. The pre pupa are moving. Interestingly enough, we've had some chicken offals from someone who's buying ice from us so that he's not losing chicken as he, as he drives eight hours away. So he puts up chickens on ice and we get his offals. Um, and there's the difference in size in some of the pupa and that Sam was telling me is down to the what they're being fed. So, you know, offals obviously very highly nutritious and that's a very good thing. And then just on the cardboard, hatching method just for you that might want to learn we're talking a bit more with Sam about wood versus cardboard um, so this is the woods this is the cardboard there are reasons for using both so if you start doing this which is scraping them off the wood you start to damage some of the eggs you actually probably get less successful hatching if you use this method but you get a much more accurate count so because you can you know that's clearly you can work out what that is in grams when you start using cardboard you get very good hatch rate so you can see when you open it up after hatching that all the egg cases are empty um, and that they've hatched out but your estimate of what you've got is much less accurate because you're putting cardboard in you weigh it beforehand when it's a bit dry then you bring it back out when it's wet um, and weigh it and then that difference is a bit tricky to uh, so you might say it's got 10 grams of eggs, but actually it's maybe only got 4 grams because the carbon's a bit wet. So in terms of getting the most bang for your buck, um, this is the best method possibly. But if you want to know exactly what you've got, this is a more accurate method of measuring the number of eggs. So there you go. Well, thanks Sam very much. Appreciate your help. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate your support as always. And we'll see you in the next video.